this demo, we're going to show you some high-speed serial debug techniques using jitter analysis and specifically the jitter summary. I'm looking at a training board 3, 2.5 gigabit signal here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add a, a data rate measurement to show that, yes, this indeed is a 2.5 gigabit per second uh, signal. And then I'm going to add a jitter summary measurement, which is just as simple as going to the jitter tab and double tapping the jitter summary. Uh, measurement, which adds the most common jitter measurements along with a host of uh, plots, including an eye diagram, which is derived from the time interval, interval error uh, TIE measurement. And then we see the histogram of the TIE measurement, spectrum of the TIE measurement, and then the jitter bathtub curve. And the waveform view is down in the lower right there, so you can still see a time domain view of the signal. Now, of course, you still have all of the clock recovery mechanisms um, that you ha are used to seeing with, with eye diagrams and data pulses. So you can go in and if I change this to a PLL method, uh, I'm going to change this away from the PCI Express to custom, and I'll select type 2. And you can see I've actually got a, a thinner jitter uh, interval there and a better eye opening as well. Now, if I uh, turn on a results table uh, for the measurement results, we can take a look at uh, what that looks like. And I'm just going to move the wave view here, or sorry, the results table view um, to make it full screen width. Um, and then you can see on the left, we've got measurements associated with just the current acquisition. And then on the right, the measurement set associated with all acquisitions, so much larger population there. Find out more or contact us through Vicom's website.